Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome back. As you guys can see, today we are doing the second update for me. I'm sure everyone's on their like seventh update, but this is like the second update. Oh no, not seventh, like probably the fourth update. I'm doing this every other month. This is the 50 Shades of Green Project Pan. This was created by the Fantastic Ladies. I can't remember all three of their names, but they will be in the description box as always with any project pan everything will be in the description box i bring in 10 things at a time and that's my number as i keep going i have my basket full of things to share with you guys so if you're interested stay tuned but first if you're new welcome alejandra i go by alex i shadow enthusiast with the dash project pan if you want to continue to see that on your feed subscribe and join us and now let's get on with this update Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I have my 10 products in this greenish blue basket. I'm excited. You guys can do really good with this stuff. I didn't expect to do so good with this. And as I'm bringing in a re, a like roll-ins, it's easier for me to find green products, which is very, very exciting. So let's start out with the first product. This is the Elemis uh, Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. Obviously it is green. We started out right here, you guys. There is an air pocket though. So uh, this is deceiving because it's saying that I'm about here, but I highly doubt that you guys, I have been using this a lot more. Yeah, there's a lot less in here, but there's a big air pocket in here. So I don't wanna mark it because I have a feeling that I am a lot lower than this is um, showing on camera. So I am using, as you guys can see, it is, it is being used. I like it, I don't love it, but I like it. It does well, especially now during the summertime with all the sweat and stuff, it just really helps me out and it cools my skin it's like this cooling effect to it it's really really nice so ah, uh, my goal is to finish this off where it is still here we're still kicking after four months we're, we're gonna make this happen you guys this i rolled in last month this is the good molecules cleansing gel so we started out right above here it was right at the rim and you guys we are all the way down here i've used this obviously for two months and i like it. it is a lightweight gel formula i feel like this is really good for somebody who doesn't want a heavy cleanser for someone for me who has very oily skin this is perfect i love it i enjoy it it doesn't leave a residue and it doesn't leave my skin super dry at the end when i'm done with it this is something i would consider repurchasing especially because good molecules is a very inexpensive brand that i can get it at ulta so i i have a feeling that this might be something i might be using going in the future but i like it i like it so my goal is to finish this off we are right over here this product this has been here since day one this is the good molecules overnight exfoliating treatment we started out right there and then this the first update it was still in the same spot and now we're right over here you guys this is nice i like it it does uh, there's times where i put it on and i feel it working and then there's other times where i feel like i put it on and i don't feel anything on my skin and that could very well be because my skin is cleansed it doesn't have a lot of dry dry skin like yuckiness for it to make it work but it does work really nicely i really like it you don't need a lot this is going to be in here for a hot minute but my goal is to finish this off that's all right we got to we still got time. I had rolled this in in the beginning of the year and we are officially done this, you guys. This is like an air pocket in here and this is all like residue. I'm not cutting this. This is a Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. Very nice. I really like this and I prefer this in the summer than I do in the winter time because it leaves a cooling effect to your skin and it does leave it hydrating, which is nice because you would think you don't want hydration in the summer, but you do because it produces less oils on your skin if you keep your skin hydrated. Very nice. I'm rolling this out. I finally finished that and we get to roll that out. This I rolled in last time. This is the Biolage All-in-One Shampoo Scrub with Oat. This was interesting to say the least this actually had like these grainy um bubbles in it like oats in them actual oats that you felt as you were scrubbing your scalp it was interesting it didn't lather up a ton but i did feel like my scalp was cleansed i i had to then after i used this i went and used my own shampoo because i felt like i need there was no lathering of it so in my brain i needed it to lather kind of thing but it really did work and it didn't have a funky smell it was a more of a texture thing you had to get used to because it felt like you were scrubbing your head with with dirt basically because that's what it felt like so at first i was like oh my goodness i'm gonna ruin my hair but no it actually wasn't bad but i did finish this off it didn't have a lot in there but enough for me to realize that this isn't so bad it's not so bad I wasn't expecting that, but it wasn't so bad. All right, then we have this, you guys. This is the Garnier Fructis uh, Leave-In Conditioning Cream. 
This is where we started. This was our first update. And you guys, we are all the way down here. There are two reasons why it's I used up this much this past month. One, because we are in a body of water weekly. I mean, and within a week, we're in a body of water about three to four times, whether it's a pool, the ocean, swim class, um, a slip and slide. I mean, like a ton of things. So my youngest um, needs this a ton, like for her hair, because um, she doesn't have a lot of oils in her hair, but this helps out tremendously with tangling and keeping her hair smooth with all the chemicals that are going in her hair from all these events that we're going to. So we needed a lot of this. And not to mention, I told you guys that I had put my kids in swim class. One, one kid to respect the water and two for the other one to not fear the water. Well, the one kid that needed to learn to respect the water ended up in a pool, busting her head open and getting four staples in her head while we were on vacation in Maryland. So needless to say, I spent my vacation, my one day that we enjoyed out in Maryland in the ER the whole entire day. Yes, she ended up with four staples in her head. Told you guys, I told you guys I have very hyper kids and you would think she'd be screaming and crying. Nope, she was sobbing quietly. Somebody had to tell me that she was crying in the pool. No, she did not go unconscious or anything. Very, thankfully, she didn't. She hit a corner or something because it was like a V right on top of her head. But the whole point of me telling you this is I had put her hair up in a bun that day and I think that's what saved her from getting an even bigger cut because it was right by her bun. In the ER, they had to cut her headbands, her, her hair ties, because I couldn't get them out. They were so tangled in her hair that I will, and after the staples, I couldn't brush her hair because her scalp was obviously sensitive. So this came in handy. I had to put a ton of it in her hair to let it smooth out for me to brush out the horrible rat's nest of a hair that she had when we got home. So that's why a lot of this got used. So I wanted to let you guys know that story because this is my justification as to why so much got used this past month. But it is still in here because I want to finish that off. I rolled this in the last update. This was the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. I ended up finishing this off, you guys. Very nice scent. Not my favorite, but I would repurchase because it is a beautiful scent. But this is an empty as well. Then we have our eyeliners, you guys. These eyeliners, these are the ColourPop Cream gel liners. Um, one is in catsuit, the other one is in Zulu. My goal is to get to 50 uses. Last month I only had nine uses out of these and currently we have 25 uses. Today is the 25th use of me using, but I always use them in conjunction. I never just use one or the other. So both of these have 25 uses. So we are halfway through our goal. I have 25 more uses and then I can roll these out. I'm still not tired of them. They still look beautiful on with any look that I do. And it really stands out. My goal is to at least roll those out by the time October comes, because I don't think I'd want to use those anymore after October. So I got August and September to still finish my goal on those. Last but not least is my Corez, uh, Corez, Corez, uh, basil lemon body butter. Oh, I'm so upset that this is done, you guys. This is such a beautiful scent. I loved every bit of it. It was bittersweet at the end, but I needed to use it. I know they still make this scent. So in the future, maybe for Christmas, I'm gonna ask for it. This is like a summer scent for me. I love it. Love it. We were right there and we were able to completely finish this off. So I, you guys can see I'm, I mangled this thing to get everything out of it because I loved it that much. Beautiful scent, I loved it. So we have another rollout. So if you've been cre keeping track, we have one, two, three, and where's my other one? Four rollouts. So we have four things that we are rolling out, which means we are bringing in four things. So let's bring in our four things, shall we? All right, so to replace my body butter, I am bringing this in. This is a body cream I got from Bath and Body Works. This, now that I am getting um, immunotherapy, I can now purchase things from Bath and Body Works. The scents aren't as strong anymore for me where I am literally like sneezing the whole entire time I'm wearing this stuff. So I ended up buying this one. This is one of the three that I ended up buying because I love these. This is the um, Aromatherapy Natural Essentials Oil and this one is the Eucalyptus and Spearmint Scent. And this is in a stress reliever. Smells really good. It kind of has like a unisex smell because it smells like, it can smell like a man, but it still has that 
clean scent to it. I really, really like it. I enjoy this one. Not many people may, but I do. And of course it has green right over here and then the green spearmint in here. My goal is to use as much as, I think I could finish this off. I think so. I've only used this maybe a handful of times since that one finished. So I haven't had much use out of this one, but I am using this one and I love it. So this is a roll in. Then we are rolling this one in. This is the Tree Hut uh, Coconut Lime one, you guys. So Mr. Man has been loving these and now he's also using these in the shower. So this is how much we have left of it. My goal is to finish this off. I don't see myself having a problem. And obviously it is green and it smells divine. I love that one. So because I know I'm gonna finish that one up, I'm gonna bring in another one. This is the Coco Colada one. And obviously you see green in the actual packaging in there. This one is white. It is brand new, never been used. So my goal is also to finish this one off. So I don't think I'll, f I, I might finish this one off. I don't know. I'll definitely finish this off for the next update. I don't know if I'll finish this one off, but I love these. I'm telling you, I'm only down to three and I'm about to go restock up on those. And the fourth and final product I'm rolling in is this one. This is my oldest perfume. And I have finally decided this is the year I need to finish it off. I don't think they make this anymore. And this was like my signature summer scent. I mean, I have been with, in, with Mr. Man for almost 20 years. So I've known his family and been around them for about 20 years. And every time I put this on, they're always like, that is your signature scent for the summer. But I have replaced my signature scent with the Joe Malone one, because I love that one. So I want to finish this one off. This is the DKNY. Um, apple, green apple one, you guys. And obviously it looks like an apple, it is green. I'm trying to hold this like straight so you guys can see how much I have left. I only have that much left. So I don't think I'll have a problem finishing this off, you guys, and it still smells like the day I bought it, you guys. What I do with my perfumes, I do not display them out. I keep them in my closet with the door closed so no natural light is exposed to them. So then their scent and the actual liquid does not change color from the sun. That is a trick I learned. I know some people keep their perfumes in refrigerators. I keep mine in my closet. My closet has enough space. It is controlled by the environment because there is a vent in there where the air conditioning goes in and the heat goes in but it has no windows, so it doesn't affect my perfumes. I did that with my old house and I have that with this house. So that's how I've been able to keep my perfumes lasting so long. That's a little tip I wanna tell you, or if you wanna keep them in your fridge, that's also something I've heard that works. But I wanna finish this one off. Finish this one off finally. Um, I don't think they make this anymore. I remember buying this at Macy's and I love this scent. So that is my fourth product I'm rolling in, you guys. So we're doing good, we're doing good. I think so far I have finished eight products. I think it's eight products or met goals on eight products and I still have a ton to go because we have to meet like 50. So we're, we're chugging along, you guys. We're chugging along. I'm doing well. I'm just struggling with what to bring in that's green, but little by little, I'm picking things out and holding them for this project pan so then I have things. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Anything you need to know will be in the description box. Check it out. Check out the other ladies. I do it every other month. Everyone does it on a monthly basis. Most people do it on a monthly basis, so you'll probably see everyone else uploading as well. I'll catch you guys in the videos on the screen. Until then, adios.